Hi everyone. Today I will be showing you guys how I make my spoon necklaces with this spoon right here. It is a vintage spoon from the 80s and it is a little girl with some chicks around her. So today I'll be using a jeweler saw, this spoon, and a metal file. First I'm polishing the spoon so it's nice and shiny. The process, at least for the beginning of the process, for the Spoon necklaces is very similar to how I make spoon rings, only I don't bend them. I use my flex shaft for this, which is a machine that a lot of people who make jewelry use. Also, I'm being really careful not to use the buffer on the actual design because it will probably scratch the glass. Next up, I'm using my jeweler saw to cut the spoon. I try to cut as straight of a line as I can, and these spoons are pretty flimsy, so it's pretty easy to cut them. I also make sure to not go so fast so the spoon doesn't go flying. Then I file it down with my metal file so it's not sharp and doesn't cut you. Periodically when I'm filing it, I just touch it so to make sure that it's smooth. After filing, I glue a bale onto it. A bale is basically a piece that connects the pendant to the necklace chain. I'm using E6000 to glue it. Here I'm just measuring how long I want the chain, which I usually make them 16 inches. Then I thread through the necklace chain. I usually buy spools of chain because it's cheaper and also you can cut it to whatever size you'd like. Okay, so this is the final necklace. I did not put the findings on it only because um, it is still drying the um, bale. And yeah, if you want to purchase this, you can check out my shop down below. I also have more spoon necklaces and spoon rings down there. And um, have a good one. Peace.